So we're going to take a look at another multi-stage amplifier. Uh, this configuration is called the cascode amplifier. And a cascode amplifier consists of a, a common emitter stage followed by a common base stage. So we can see in this circuit, I can break up and break it up as follows. And I have Q1 and Q2. My input signal is fed into the base of Q1, the output signal for the first stage taken at the collector of Q1, and then fed into the emitter of Q2, uh, and then the overall output signal taken out of the collector of Q2. And so we will have a common emitter stage. Actually, I'm just going to call it the CE stage formed by transistor Q1, followed by a common base stage formed by transistor Q2. And I'm not going to do the small signal analysis. You can take a look at that in the textbook, but we're going to derive the voltage gain um, in a little bit more intuitive manner, if you will. Um, I'm going to look at both the stages, stage one, the common emitter, and stage two, the common base. And I have already derived expressions for the voltage gain of a common emitter and a common base amplifier. So I can calculate um, AV1, the voltage gain, small signal voltage gain for the first stage, will be equal to negative. And this is going to be the overall resistance connected to the collector of Q1 divided by the overall resistance connected to the emitter of Q1. And so that's going to be equal to uh, negative whatever input resistance I have looking into my stage two, that's R in two, divided by um, little re one plus capital re one, since R e two gets bypassed by that um, emitter bypass capacitor CBE. Uh, now I can see that a B one, um, R into, so the resistance looking into the emitter for the second stage is going to be equal to little R E2. Um, and you may wonder, you know, why don't we see the resistance that is connected to the base of that transistor divided by beta? And the reason is you have that CB capacitor uh, that is shorting the base of transistor Q2 to ground for AC purposes. And so that's really just going to be equal to negative little R E2 divided by little R E1 plus capital R E1. And for the second stage, this is a common base amplifier. And so my gain AB2 is going to be equal to collector resistance RC divided by um, little R E2. My overall gain is equal to the product of the two gains or uh, negative RE2 divided by RE1 plus capital RE1 times RC divided by little RE2. I can eliminate the RE2s and be left with an overall voltage gain of uh, negative RC divided by little RE1 plus capital RE1. And this is a um, an important result and the reason for that uh, is that notice the, uh, the symmetry with respect to the common emitter and the common base. The voltage gain for the cascode amplifier ends up being the ratio of uh, the overall emit uh, resistance connected to the collector of the output stage divided by the overall resistance connected to the emitter of the input stage. And so very similar or very symmetric to how the common emitter and common base operated. Um, it's a still an inverting amplifier because we have an inverting stage followed by a non-inverting stage. And so it still has the minus sign there. Uh, let's take a look at the input resistance and output resistance real quick. My input resistance will be the resistance looking into... Oops, uh, my base of the first transistor there are in. My output resistance will be the resistance looking from the output of the um, transistor Q2. So R in will be equal to, and I have um, R3 in parallel with R2, 
And R2 is connected to an AC ground through the uh, base resistor CB. So I'll have R2 in parallel with R3. In parallel with the resistance looking into the input of transistor Q1, which is going to be beta times little re1 plus capital re1. Again, re2 gets bypassed by CBE. And my output resistance, in this case, is going to be equal to um, the resistance looking into the output, which is going to be RC in parallel with little arrow uh, for transistor Q2. And um, that's it. We've come up with expressions for small signal voltage gain, input resistance, and output resistance for a cascode amplifier. Now, you may wonder, you know, it doesn't look like we have gained much uh, from just a simple common emitter in terms of voltage gain, input resistance, or output resistance. So, you know, what will be the advantage of using a cascode amplifier? The disadvantages are clear. Uh, it's a more complex circuit and it has more components, but what will be the advantage? And we're going to see, even though not until next week when we talk about frequency response, uh, that the cascode amplifier uh, has better frequency response characteristics than just using a common emitter amplifier, even though all the other parameters are similar. So that will be the advantage. But again, that's something for a future video. Thank you.